following footage you are about to see is the intro to the Beatles cartoon. Yeah, the Beatles got their own cartoon. I guess any famous musician or actor gets their own cartoon. I mean, the Stooges, Mike Tyson, Jackson 5, the Harlem Globetrotters. But this... Let's just start. <laughs> Yeah, that's real. And um, when watching an episode of the cartoon, I had a very hard time finding out who was who. I knew who Ringo was because they gave Ringo the weirdest design. And can I just add that he's like the funniest part of the show. And um, his voice is, um, I think his voice is the inspiration for Wacko for Animaniacs. Yeah, it is, because uh, he's trying to do a Ringo Star impression. But um, over here, I found pictures of each uh, character or, you know, member of the Beatles, because I couldn't figure out who was who. Like, I knew Ringo, obviously, but I was having a hard time figuring out who was John and who was George, and I was like, oh, okay, I found these pictures, so they'll help me out, and um, I'm glad they did. Now on to the cartoon. I'm having a very hard time finding the episodes on YouTube, which is why we have Daily Motion. I mean, thank you, Daily Motion. I mean, I couldn't even find the Bill and Ted cartoon episodes without them, even though the Bill and Ted um, DVD set comes with a pilot of the cartoon. Anyways, this cartoon, it had the potential to be good, but it just... The animation... Okay, let me just start off by talking about the voice actors. You couldn't get the Beatles to do it? Like... They had two guys, I'm not even kidding, two guys voicing each of the Beatles. One guy voiced George and Paul, and then the other guy voiced um, John and Ringo. That's how you know. If a cartoon only has two voice actors, you got some restraints, man. You, you got some restraints. Like, are you serious? You couldn't just be like, hey, guys, hey, Beatles, let's make a cartoon. You couldn't, like, ask them? Or were they still split up or something? Where's this cartoon even from? Give me a minute, I have to figure out where this cartoon came from. According to Google, the cartoon came out on September 25th, 1965. The Beatles, uh, I think, were still together. And yet, when I look at the cast, it says they are in the cartoon. But over here, I can also see the two cast members that um, are in the show. Lance Percival and Paul Freeze. Lance voices Paul and Ringo, and then Paul voices John and George. She, she, I, oh my god. Oh my god, honestly. Like, seriously. Like, what what the heck? The episode that I watched is an episode where Ringo becomes a stuntman, and they go to Hollywood. And then, the, the, I swear to god, I think Ringo is the punching bag of the show, because this episode proved it for me. Literally, the whole time, the trio is just watching him get hurt, because he's a stuntman, obviously. And they're just singing, ah, and even in the beginning of the episode, when Ringo's riding one of those fake horses, I think either... Paul or George speed up the machine and make Ringo fly off and then they get him hired and they just watch, they just sing and watch him get hurt and I'm like, what? This is your friend! Why you do this to Ringo? This, 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 um, I have to say, like, literally this show made me appreciate Ringo even more. Maybe, maybe you're bad for Ringo. <sighs> Poor Ringo. I'm not trying to say the show wasn't bad, it just was okay. And, to be honest, a reboot or rerun wouldn't really be so bad because we could, they could, we, I mean, easily, people are really good at doing Beatle impressions, and 
You know, just uh, the guy who voices Wacka from Animaniacs could easily be Ringo. I'm just saying, make a Beatles reboot, you, you already got your Ringo. I mean, I don't know where you can find your Paul, George, or uh, John, but you have your Ringo. Just, just call him up, be like, hey, we're going to reboot Beatles, want to be Ringo? And then, bam. Um, but yeah, uh, I just didn't know there was a Beatles cartoon. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that, but if you didn't know that... Welcome to my club. I didn't even know there was a Beetlejuice cartoon. I knew there was a Bill and Ted cartoon, and unfortunately a Back to the Future cartoon, which I'm never going to talk about. And a Karate Kid cartoon, but this, I didn't know. I mean, I knew about the Three Stooges getting their own cartoon, but not this, you know, getting their own cartoon. I didn't even know the Jackson 5 got their own cartoon until I googled this cartoon. Like, you serious? You kidding me? You gotta pull my leg here. This is very rude. I can't believe you. I can't. I won't take this slander. I won't do it. Um, if you want to watch the episodes of the Beatles cartoon, I just, I just Google the Beatles cartoon, and I'm pretty sure some episodes will come up, uh, but the songs might be muted due to copyright, um. This show was brought to you by...